Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how I use tiles and masks in Substance Painter. The first thing I'll do is create a main folder. Next I will create the fill layer for the tile. I'll add a black mask to the layer and in the mask I'll add a fill. Inside the fill I'll add my height tile. If you want to use normals instead of height, you can add the normal map directly to the fill layer's normal slot. To keep things clean I'll use to uncheck every channel except for height. Next I'll add a transform filter to my layer stack. With the transform filter I can tile everything that is beneath it. For more complex layer stacks it could be easier to add the filter directly to the mask of each layer. But for this tutorial we'll keep it simple and do it this way. Next I'll show you how you can use masks together with your tile. First I'll create a folder above the tile layer. And I'll add a mask with color selection. Inside the color selection you can add your mask file. Pick a color. Now any layer that you put inside that folder will be restricted to that mask area. I'll now duplicate that folder to use with other color IDs. Here you can see that each folder is restricted to different parts of the tile. I'll now add some of my smart materials to the folders to try it out. Here you can easily shuffle around the materials or add other materials and try it out. That's why it's better to use folders instead of adding the color selection directly to layers. Now let's try out the transform filter. I forgot to create a color ID for the base, so I'll do that now.
made a small mistake here by adding the transform filter outside of the main folder. So when you have this set up, you can basically add it to any part of your mesh. You can mask it out or cut it off wherever you want. All the smart materials used in this tutorial you can get at my store. And I think that covers most of it. Thank you for watching.